Ruffles, did you like your day at the park? Maybe. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. Focus. There, there we you go. go. Oh, good morning, guys. It is currently Saturday, May 18th. 8:20 a.m. So I'm making this video because there's so many things I need to tell you guys. So I, we just had a ball last night, a military ball, which is pretty fun. This is my second ball and my wife's first ball, so it was pretty. It was a good time. Wow, uh, did people get sloshed? <laughs> um, did people get you know? Ah, uh, it was a good time though. It was a good time. So there was a ball yesterday. That was fun. I woke up this morning to a text. One of my coworkers, right? They needed a ride back to their car. So I went to go pick them up at their house because they took an Uber there, responsible, right? They took an Uber back to their house. They texted me saying, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you pick me up and take me back to my car? So that's what I'm doing. That's what I did. I just finished doing that. So I just did that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was, the ball was great. I had steak. Um, I, wanted, I wanted the chicken, you know, my wife gets the steak. I get the chicken just to try it out. Um, but people said the chicken was really dry. So I'm really glad I got the steak. And in my wife's words, uh, the military is paying for, well, we bought the ticket, so kind of we're paying for it, but um, yeah, the steak was quote unquote free. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Turns out uh, I found out one of my perks. No, not a perk. Um, so I found out one of my things when I drink is I talk a lot. Last night I was talking about um, Star Wars to one, of, to one of my coworkers. Oh my God. He is a big nerd, so you know, it's totally fine. Yeah. Anyways, guys, so this month has been an amazing month. So this month on may 3rd or 4th i have to look at my ba basd which is a if you guys don't know it's basically like when you when you ship off to basic right but yeah guys this this month has been pretty big this month has marked my three years in the army and it's been a crazy three years i'm not gonna lie i did pick up no i didn't pick up yet but i did pass the promotion board which is great um i submitted my packet to blc so i go in july because next month in june I'm going to Jamaica, so watch out for those videos. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Hopefully, I can pump out like three videos. That's what I did for Mexico, so you know, different days, so on and so forth. But yeah, I did go to the board in February, so I passed one time, one shot. I passed it. Other people, it took them like a couple tries, but it only if you only study hard and remember the regulations, you could pass it. So it's it's not that bad. It's not hard, but you did you do get grilled a lot on like situational questions and questions that pertain to incidents that your soldiers may be involved in you know sharp eo all that stuff so you have to be like on kind of quick with your words <laughs> not like how i was just now but you have to be quick with your words know what to say how to say it and the resources available to your soldiers if they need them so yeah the board was uh it was easy it was well it wasn't easy but the studying part was hard but the rest of it was kind of easy for the most part yeah so blc in july but because of this new memo that was put out, you no longer need DLC, which I did in Korea for fun. I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this, why not? It's um, it's something I have to do, or I had to do. But yeah, D I did DLC in Korea. BLC is no longer required for sergeants like E5. So I was kind of excited, but they're like, you still need to go uh, because you already submitted the packet. And I was like, all right, that's an extra 150 points once I graduate. So that's gonna put me way above my current points right now. But yeah, so anyways, no BLC, no DLC, whatever, right? But I'm still going, so it's gonna be fun. You know, it's gonna be a good experience for me because if I do pick up six, I already have BLC out of the way, it's done, whatever. Now, because I pick up, I may or may not lose, not lose orders, but like, I don't know. Because I, when I re-enlisted, I re-enlisted as a specialist. So if they send me to Hawaii as a five, expecting a, like, a four, um, it might, it may complicate things. So I just, I just have to be like ready for anything on that, on that part, right? So there's that. What else? Um, yeah, promotion board, the ball yesterday, my three-year mark. Yeah, there's not a lot going on. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, everything kind of just happened so fast. Let's see, um, what else, what else? Oh, my car, my beautiful car, you already know, almost hit 60,000 miles. I've had it for just over six years already. Yeah, just over six years. And this car doesn't even have 60,000 miles. I'm about 500 off of 60,000 miles, which is crazy. Cause I'm, th I'm here thinking to myself, I want a, like a newer car because one, we want to get another dog. Two, it's a two door. So having to put like, just a, picking up the dogs and putting them in, in the back seat, it's kind of hard enough, right? Cause, cause you have to like put the, you get to put, you have to put this seat all the way down, put them in the back. And it's just like a lot of, a lot of work. 
Um, so there's that. I'm, I realize I'm saying um a lot, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna try to do that less and less. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty great. But yeah, I want a new a. Uh, a new car hopefully in hawaii but this car has been such a great so great to me new tires new headlights i put led lights after six years led lights finally instead of the halogens which is really good but overall it's been uh it's been a great great three years in the army can't wait to see what hawaii has to offer because i never lived on the island Ooh, one more thing i forgot to mention i went to ntc because I volunteered for it because person okay so we had to like change change a command so we had to like do inventories and stuff like that so the person doing inventories like the main like the person who's been here for like quite a while right he was gonna go to NTC but I was like no let me do it because he knows property more than I do they're like okay sounds good then he puts on a detail so he can't even do property so I went to NTC for him and yeah <laughs> it was it was cool it was cool it was a good time a lot of sand we were not in the box so a lot of people don't really count ntc if you weren't in the box but you still went to ntc there's two sides there's ruba and there's the box i was not in the box so yeah so maybe a perk probably if you want to join the military or the army in general um choose your job wisely because it will kind of depend where, where they send you yeah, at ntc so for me i was in a box thankfully right i kind of wanted to be to get that full experience regardless anyways ntc was fun we got in and out on our way back, right? Because we, we took the bus. We got in and out and I was so happy because it's been such a long time since I've had it. And I don't know when the next time I'm gonna have it is because you know, Hawaii and also actually in and out is planning their oh my god text. In and out is also planning to open a location here in Washington Washington State. But like it's more like near Oregon, Washington border. So yeah, it's like two hours away. They're opening that up in 2025, so I won't be here anymore. So that kind of sucks. But I do plan to go, you know, back home, take some leave sometime in December. Because, you know, Christmas and then I'm not going to see my family for a while after that. Yeah, a lot of things going on. I feel like I'm just rambling. I have a lot of things on my mind, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, um, my dog is turning one. So that's great. I love him. He's so cute. He's, in the words of my friend yesterday, she said, he is just a toy doll, like a little plush doll. And I thought to myself, he kind of is. He kind of just stares at you with his eyes and just like looks right at, right at you. And, and he does a little like tongue thing like, <laughs> oh, he's such a good dog. I love him so much. I do miss my other dog. He is, he's a bigger dog, much older dog. He's so gentle. And I'm glad he's staying, staying with my parents because, you know, they're old too. Sorry, mom and dad, but you guys are old, but but not as old as you think you are. So that's good. <laughs> Um, but I love you guys. Going back, going back to it. Um, let's see. NTC, the board, my three-year mark, the ball yesterday. That was fun. I didn't take a lot of videos because I was kind of, you know, having fun. I wasn't really thinking about making a vlog or anything like that. But I, take, I did take some videos and I did take some pictures. That's really good. One of my fucking DUIs? Yes, RDI. Or R Anyways, little, um, one of the pins or um, one of the things came off. Anyways, it like came off. So when I talk to like the sergeant when I you know you do the greeting right of the sergeant major and the higher ups <laughs> I didn't have my thing on because like because it, it came off so I was like oh shit I look so I felt so like ashamed and embarrassed and kind of like upset I was like man how can I how did this like come off out of everything else that I had how did it come off it is what it is it's totally fine yeah guys I hopefully hopefully have more videos to like push out to you guys but this was just like a straight up like kind of like rant, ranting video. And I don't really have anything planned for this video. I'm just like talking to you guys, to the viewers, to my family, to my future kids. You better watch my videos or else fucking, I don't know, send you to boarding school if you have that money. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably make you guys like mow the yard or clean outside. The way my parents taught me to, you know. They'll be like, I'll be like, oh, estoy aburrido, like I'm bored. They'll be like, oh, estás aburrido, you know, here's a fucking broom, go sweep outside. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'm thankful for my parents for making me do that because at least the backyard's clean now and I have kind of like an addiction to clean cleanliness, you know, I like things being clean, organized, which reminds me, uh, future self and future kids, if you ever buy a um, trash can for your car, don't get one that clips onto the side. Like I do, because I bought one. This was like 20 bucks. No, no, this was like 12 bucks, but still, it's it's just a bad design. I mean, I like it, but it's just like, when you push this in, the whole thing comes up. And it's just like, this is this is like three days worth of trash. It's so, it's not, it's like, it's not even that big, but I need to 
I was gonna return it, but I think I passed the return window because I wanted to test it out. Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put you guys back right here. Anyways, yeah, so that's it for, you know, past couple months, guys. And I'm excited for tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited for next month, I'm sorry, because of Jamaica. And hopefully for my birthday, I might go to Florida to go see like Disney World and go see friends over there, go see her, my wife's family. So I was kind of stuck on like Alaska because I want to see Northern Lights. They were here like a couple days ago, FYI. Um, I didn't see them because one, I was kind of tired. Two, I was picking up my wife from Florida because because one of her family members graduated. She's a doctor now. Um, yeah, so you graduated. I picked her up at like midnight. So it was hard to kind of see the, the lights, especially in a city like Seattle, there was like pollution everywhere. Then we tried like the next night, we tried on Sunday actually. By that time it's kind of like, it was over. So you couldn't really see them. Even with like a long exposure setting on your camera, I couldn't see them, so that kind of sucks. So it kind of just reinforced my notion, my idea of like, oh, going to Alaska to see the lights for my birthday. But then I thought to myself, man, Alaska's, Alaska's cold. <laughs> so I, that'd be nice to do, but it's not, it's, not, it's not high on my list. But I was like, okay, cool. Um, Alaska, maybe, maybe not. Then I was like, oh, we could do, we could do freaking um, Ontario, like Canada, right? Because I've been to Vancouver, cool. My wife has not been to Vancouver, so hopefully I could take like a four day out there and you know have a good time with my wife. But I want to go, to, I want to go see Niagara Falls because you know it's beautiful, it's like kind of scenic as well. So there's that. So I was like, oh, perfect, Niagara Falls, Canada, Tim Hortons, you know, Nando's. Ah, <laughs> oh, miss Nando's, but. Yes, those places, and my wife also has found me up there, so it's it's perfect because you don't have to pay for a place to live. Great. Um, so we just go out there, see her family, see the sights. Great time. And then she brought the idea of like Disney World, and I was like, I could go to Disney World because I have friends, you know, friends in Florida. She has family in Florida too, so that's another like perk. And I was thinking to myself. I haven't been to Disney World in like a long time. I went there when, when I was a kid and I think, I, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it as a kid, but the weather, like the humidity and the constant rain, especially the humidity that like, that wasn't working for me. So <laughs> yeah. So because of that, it kind of like brought me down, but I would like to go to Florida once again because a new Avatar ride that they have, well, it's not new. It's been out for a couple years, but I haven't been able to go because, you know, because of money and stuff like that. And also like trying to get time off is kind of hard or it was kind of hard until I joined the military. I'm trying to, trying to go to, to Disney World for my, for my birthday. So hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Then December, go see, go see family, stuff like that. And then in January, February, like March time frame, start PCSing, that, start doing that process. And hopefully I'll go to Hawaii. But yeah, guys, I've been rambling on for about 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for like actually listening to me and subscribing to me. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening to me. Hopefully, I can bring you guys more vlogs. I'm trying to get retention, like to actually like have me signed up to do the air, the helicopter ride for real for real listing over Seattle. Because when I went on the Sh uh, Chinook like last October, someone did their real listing ceremony, or like their second real listing ceremony on the Chinook. So I kind of want to do it on like a Blackhawk or something. And bring this camera along so it can also take it back so I can take a video and pictures of like downtown Seattle so it's gonna be great hopefully we're trying to get that in the works we're trying to get my wife on it but they can't put her on it because a civilian and B insurance like liability shit like that but yeah guys thank you so much for listening to me I'm trying to put out more videos for you guys but nothing's really popping off right now because it's still gloomy it's not summer yet things are kind of like slow right now at the house because especially in a war <laughs> quote my wife's words <clears throat> why do we leave the house when we already paid for rent right it makes sense so <laughs> we're just being a little lazy right now but it's totally fine hopefully we, like next next weekend or something we go to the Tillamook factory in Oregon it's about two hour drive away no, actually like almost a three hour drive away hopefully we can do that but yeah guys thank you so much for listening to me and I catch you guys next time when I go to the Tillamook factory the cheese factory yeah <laughs> anyways guys I'll see you uh, later <laughs>